and welcome to my ISO builder machine. This is not a topic that the general public requires to watch. This is a back end what happens when I want to install extra packages on Arch Linux GNOME in this uh, instance, but it, would, it can be any ISO out there, which is at this point in time 15 in the sense that we have 13 Arch Linux B, one Arch Linux and Arch Linux D. That's for me just a number, 15. I know there are more, there are 60 ISOs, but it's all spin-offs having an LTS kernel or not, I have a minimal or a bare, etc. So that's just uh, uh, choosing your Lego blocks, but 15 in general. And even so, we could argue there is actually just one Arch Linux ISO. Now, the video, is going to show me how to add an AOR package to Arco Linux, right? So it's going to show you stuff that's that happens behind the screen that you don't see normally, and it's best I put it on the ArcoLinuxISO.com uh, website because that's the website where we're going to build an ISO from scratch. So it's one of the routine things you have to do when you want to have something. All right, I was working on Arclix B GNU, and in there, I was um, I always have to go to an, a kind of shell GNU shell extension. It's called to what did I actually type here? App indicator will have less hits, and. Um, you can install the GNOME shell extensions via the browser, go to a certain website and have, well, I have a slider and you have it all. So, but I have um, other, I installed other uh, shell extensions as well, but not this guy yet. So this one is the one I'm missing. It provides me the icon of variety. There is no variety icon in Apple XP GNOME. So I was like, hey, what's, what's up with this? And I went to look and said, okay, I just need to add a Lego block to my system. Then when I burn the ISO, that's our next step, test it out, I'll have this package. Now it's not that simple. So we need to have this. So Control Shift C, going to Control Alt G, and uh, let's go for GNOME, oh, sorry, AOR, and then Control V something like this now there are two versions i think i'm gonna go for the git version since git means actually github it means that it's always gonna be the super last uh, version but it's anyway the same maintainer so they'll probably get uh, maintained at the same point in time but um you could actually have a look at the package builds which we're gonna do and it's gonna show that this is the url and here's the source so it's a git source and the other one that means it's the very last thing that's online that's what it means and in here they're working with a package version so somebody says okay this thing this is it, this is from you, for me a new package and then they uh, can release a package on GitHub and then you work with numbers, you see, package version. So the Git version is always a very, 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 very last thing if you install it. So yeah, I'm gonna choose, uh, choosing Lego blocks. I'm gonna choose this guy, download snapshot. We are going to go to my downloads, which is clean and then extract here this one I don't need this one is okay so this one is going to be moved to the rest of my packages that I have to maintain which is Arconix package build third party I've done some changes let's see if it fits in here in the automatic update so we copied this guy there he is I'm gonna check my builds, Control C and 
control V. So to make my work easier, I've made a build script. And it's uh, I'm going to either build it in Shroot, if it's possible, and otherwise make it. And it's going to go to number four. So it's the repo ISO afterwards. So these are variables. I've totally rearranged my scripts a week ago after testing all these uh, 60 ISOs. I said now I have the time to remake. And now it's, it's an, an auto build in the sense that the parameters do not need to be put in by hand, but I can run e each folder after each other and the parameters are in here. So use the shroot and then put it there. That's basically what it says and the rest, okay, we'll leave that for now. But this package builds, I'm, I've never run this, so I'm, I'm gonna test it anyway, first with make package to see what's going on, if everything works. So that's already done, super fast thingy. So this is the source file, this is GitHub, comes, this comes from, from GitHub. And in the end, it's going to be packaged in this folder, in the GNOME Shell extension, in user, in share, in GNOME Shell, in extensions, in app indicator. Here, the information is available. So that's where it's going to be put on your system. So this thing is packaged into this thing. You can actually open it up. I don't really like to do that. You can apply it, I mean, but don't want to open, open. But I just don't want to change these things but we can if you want take a look at it with archive manager so remember it's software installer and when you choose to change it use as default don't do it then you can actually see what's what's inside you see it's the same um, well structure this is where it all ends this is this is the folders and the files that are going to be put on your system with this package Okay, so the make package worked fine. Uh, let's clean everything up. So this one goes and goes and goes. Now let's test if this works with my build auto thingy. Now is it going to shroot it? It's a different kind of building. It's in a separated, uh, protected uh, part of it's a folder but it's it's going to mimic an, an arch linux installation and um, well build it there maybe i have a link in here building in clean shroot so an arch linux if you want to read more building in a clean shroot All right, that can go. So everything is done. We're not going to talk about the signing of the package, but I signed the package as well. Um, and then deleting everything up. So everything is clean. And now I have something extra. So I have to go to my Arcanist repo, ISO, Control Shift 2, and GNOME Shell extension is new. So this package is has been added to the repo to build an ISO. So you never normally see this thing. This is just the catalog repository, the map, the folder online that keeps all the packages that we put on the ISO. So anything AOR related, I have to build it like this, put it on here, and then I can say in my Article Linux B script in the packages, add this as well. So this thing, control C, that's the name. It stops at git and then the numbers come. I have to go to Article Linux B to the GNOME minimal. I'm doing this always like this because it's faster. Those are my packages. Scroll down. Control V and this one as well. So this extra package is desktop specific, right? It's just for GNOME. So I'm gonna put it in here like that. And Control Shift 
uh, one here. I'm going to push it, push it back to the net. I can actually push everything that back to the net like this. Um, like so. And then GNOME shell extension app indicator. Now it's just going to be for GNOME. So all the rest, yeah, I was, I switched. I switched my um, GitHub. So if you have different GitHubs, like I do, I have Eric Dubois GitHub and Arco Links GitHub, get rid of this .cache git folder, buy, and then he's going to ask the password again because, um, okay, I'm so lazy, Control Shift C. I want to type Control Shift V, and he's going to ask the password. So I'm going to pause the video here, and he's off. Everything is okay, of course. It's just GNOME that changed. So you see, everything is already up to date. There's a message that it gives, and here we are. So we are actually at a first update here. You see, GNOME shell extension, one file changed, one insertion, and the next one is GNOME minimal. And all the rest is just going to tell everything is up to date, nothing to do. So let's get that out of the way. So that means that our packages are now changed. But if you run it right now, it will give you an error when you build. Because what have we not done yet? We did not go to and close to the tuner. So we did not push this thing to the net. So I need to push this as well, like so. So the new package that I put on repo ISO is not on the internet yet. So if somebody at this particular point in time wanted to build, then you have a text that's not pointing to an application, to a package. So it's everything stops and it's done. You can't build anything. You have to delete that line in the packages uh, folder. So um, tutorial app indicator right there you go you see here create mode gnome shell extension app indicator git right now this is github <laughs> i have to think there's another one there's seed host and see i'm going to push that one as well on seed host so i'm gonna actually say to seed host get the information from github so github is the first place everything goes to and then everything is synced up with seed host because it's faster, more reliable. Okay, so I'm going to do that as well right now. Let's pause here. All right, in the meantime, I've um, synced seed host with GitHub, which means that we can actually test this out. It means that everything is, has been covered. We created a new package from a package build from the AUR. We've build it we've put it on the repo the repo from github is synced with the repo from seed host i have changed the folders so the files uh, for uh, let's make take a minimal takes doesn't take that long and i've changed this as well so we could actually build one right now let's take number 31 and build the one with linux lts And let's just show you when lip, how was it called again? The file all the way down. This is the file we need to find in the long list GNOME shell extension app indicator. And what I'm gonna do then is if the ISO is built, test it, see if it's working, if it's there upon installation. I better. Pause the video right here. We actually see something in here. GNOME shell extension app indicator. So this line down here, which I can't select, <laughs> that's the line, right? So this line here, GNOME shell extensions, means already that it's going to, to function and work. But uh, let's pause again. 
And so he's finishing. It's 1.9 gigabytes out for Arcanic Gnome Min LTS. So a long-term support kernel. Always interesting to put it again in the video that we have two choices these days, a Linux kernel and the long-term support kernel. And we do get messages already across that prior they ended up in a black screen and with LTS they have a working system. So the Linux kernel knows more about let's say older hardware it's not between clamors right you see me pointing my fingers in the air you just test it out if you have issues if lts is working so let's test this out ourselves super f7 move it here i have a template ready that's how i work it's easy it's fun arco linux B and GNOME and it's minimal. That's enough. Where is it? It's going to be in the Arch Linux B out and it's called GNOME min LTS. Fine, that's the correct one. Double click, of course, the other screen. That's how I work. Double click here, Control F and boot up. Now after installation, we should see something right so i'm gonna pause the video of course several times but um, upon reboot after the installation we should have the ability to actually have this tool available so to recap recapitulate whoa to recapitulate belgian let's do let's do this first a little bit concentration wrong still wrong he says this is the line where it says wrong okay that should be the same unless you type it wrong twice i've done that also in the past everybody has and then you don't know the password when you're putting up qwerty azerty just type wrong twice and it passes so talking again about the summary so recapitulation if you want to add a package from aor on the article Linux b iso you cannot at this point in time you have to have you have to get more knowledge i can do that at this point in time and this is how it's done you're going to get you're going to the aor get the snapshot extract it build it Put it on in my case a repository online so that everybody can get it everybody can build it because we want an article b to build it that you build it yourself so it needs to be online it does not has it, it should not be on my pc it should be online so everybody can get these aor packages now aor packages will always well become out of date and will they will, they will update the developers will make new versions so you need to update all the time these AWAR packages so that's back-end work that's what you don't see that's what you need to do when you do an, an arch linux iso creation in the future in phase six i think we call it article linux iso.com that's work you need to update all these AWAR packages constantly so we have now a new package which means more work right so the more packages you are going to put on your iso coming from aor the more you have to maintain okay hope that's clear so you can in put any package that's come from arch linux and the arco linux repos on the package list of arco linux b but when it comes from the aor and we don't have it in our repo at this point in time there's no video how to fix that right but this is how it's done this is how it's created oh i can boot almost all right how we how do we how do we get right now all these packages from aor well yay minus s and get whatever you want it's in a script we call it the nemesis script it's fine-tuning any 
eyes are out there from Linux, it's never gonna be just the way you want. So what we do afterwards, always everybody individually is run scripts to install stuff, to uninstall stuff, to sync things from the cloud and so on. That's what we all do. Almost there. Nice image. Restart now. Done. Let's have a look. Is it there? So this is our new um, boot up uh, screen. We eliminated the blue line that went straight through the text. When making a tutorial about calamares, I had four partitions. So it means, I don't know, 12 lines or something. And it was not that good readable anymore. So I just eliminated this line. So this becomes our new look. Let's go for it. GNOME. GNOME can need another restyling, but restyling is all for you guys, really. When you get an ISO, capital letters, it seems, okay, then you um, gonna tweak it anyway. Aha, there it is. So, K status notifier item app indicator support. Click. And there's my icon. Click. No icon. I can. So yes, successful. We have now, from, from now on, on uh, version 1909, so September release, it will, of or build it now, right? Arc Linux B, build it yourself, and you'll have it. Um, but it's just an uh, extra fun thing, so we can actually select our wallpaper the way we want. Oh, that's it. And that's the guy for the coming hours, days, etc. So yes, this is a success story. So this is the workflow. Just wanted to share that. Had to do it anyway. So now you know this is what comes behind adding just one package on the system. All right. I'll put this on adiclinuxiso.com and um, we'll have fun learning how to build an ISO and maintain packages and all that. Cheers.